What's up, everybody? Today is uh, Monday, July 6th. Okay, I can't lie. Today is actually Sunday, <laughs> July 5th. Um, but you are watching this on uh, Monday, July 6th. Um, I'm just recording it today. Um, I had to come home and uh, record this for Monday's vlog because, um, you know, um, I was at church this morning and uh, pastor preached on a really good sermon. Uh, sermon. Uh, for, the, for those of you who don't know my pastor, Pastor Loran Livingston is his name. And uh, it's, uh, he pastors a church here in Charlotte, North Carolina, where I live. And uh, anyway, he just, uh, he, he's, he's an awesome man of God. Um, you know, he's got his faults like everybody I know, you know, so don't think I'm glorifying my pastor here. But um, one thing that he said this morning just really provoked something in me. For the first time, it's like my testimony has almost changed. I don't know if it's changed, it's just deepened. It's been taken to another level. Um, a lot of times, you know, when I've been booked at places to speak or to perform, you know, um, or, you know, when I do, when I'm doing ministry on MySpace or Facebook, whatever, and people want to hear my testimony, um, you know, or if I'm just trying to relate to some people, the story I tell them is about all the things that I used to do that the Lord saved me from, you know, and uh, how I used to be heavily involved with drugs. Um, I used to be heavily involved with, you know, just the whole party life and, you know, sleeping around with different women and, um, you know, uh, even breaking into places, robbing people. Uh, I, I was, I lived a, a pretty bad life for a long time and I was just full of, uh, selfishness, you know, and, uh, pride and just a lot of things, you know, um, that the Lord has worked out of me. Some of those things he's still working on in me, but, um, that's my testimony. I tell people about all those terrible things I was doing, um, and how the Lord just brought me out of that, you know, and saved me. And, um, that's the story I share. But today, when I was listening to my pastor preach his sermon, uh, when he first started out preaching the sermon and he was talking about his past and how it just amazes him how God would use such a wretched man as himself. Some, when he was talking about God's grace and I, something just dawned on me, something so much deeper to my testimony, um, because we still do wrong things that we shouldn't do. Now, I'm not perfect by any means. I mean, I still have a flesh and in, in a, in a human way of thinking, and I do wrong. I do wrong things that I shouldn't do, you know, but I'm, um, so I mean, it's like, should that really be my testimony? Sure, should my testimony stop there? And the Lord showed me this morning. He said, I didn't save you from all that stuff. I mean, yeah, you know, when, when, when I adopted you as my son, as my child, and welcomed you into my kingdom, yeah, I've since then filtered out a bunch of that stuff in your life. A bunch of that bad stuff is gone, um, and it's not there anymore. I'm still working on you, though, but what I saved you from is ignorance of me. See, I was ignorant of him. I was ignorant of him. I didn't love him. I didn't have a heart for him. I may have knew about him or had knowledge of him or who he was. You know, I might have been able to say, yeah, I believe in Jesus Christ, but I was not living it. And I had no care or concern of who he really was. And I was ignorant to him. That's what he saved me from. You know, I mean, if you really think about it, he didn't just save me from breaking into places and doing drugs. No, the Lord gave me a heart for him. He gave me a heart for him. And now I love him. And I and I and when I do do wrong, you know, um, I'm so unsettled with it, you know, and I and I'm constantly back on my face repenting. And it's because I'm no longer ignorant of who he is. I know who he is and I love him and I want to please him and I want to do better. So um, my testimony is just deepened today. And uh, I guess I've always known that, but I just never saw it the way that I saw it now. Because God knows we're screw-ups. He knows we're going to mess up, guys. We're human. It, we've proved it to Him time and time again through the centuries. Read the scriptures from Old Testament to New. We will continue to fail Him and fall short of perfection. But to 
no longer be ignorance of, ignorant of Him and to no longer be ignorance of, ignorant of who Christ is and to welcome that the, that, that wisdom and knowledge and the empowerment of the Holy Spirit into your life and to let Christ come in you and live in you and do that work and no longer be ignorant to all of that, that that's the testimony right there. And that's what changes us from those old ways and continues to pull us out of the mess that we're in every day. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.